Now in this video, I'll be talking about the anti loop. Okay, so already we have covered the for loop here you can see and the while loop. Okay, so now let's start with the anti loop. Okay, so before starting, let me first tell you about this what uh, what is this, how this loop actually works. So, anti loop is basically it works. Sorry, it works until the condition is false condition is false okay so it's quite interesting like it works when until the condition is false whenever your condition becomes true it uh, you, you will come out of the loop just like the reverse of the while loop okay so it's just like you if you will say like uh, 2 is greater than 5 so yeah it, it uh, then in that condition the loop will run if you will say like 6 is greater than 5 now in that condition this loop will not work like you will come out of the loop okay so i will uh, do a visualization for you and i will open up my paint to show you but before that let me just try the syntax here uh, sorry what happened here uh, wait a minute guys i will open the paint in different window yeah and i will open up my terminal okay so now let me just create the syntax for you so the syntax is very easy just like the while loop so you have to just give the until and the whatever the condition you will provide here condition and the do and then here you will write the code and done okay this is the basic syntax and the increment decrement whatever you want to do here you can do like this okay i plus plus or whatever okay so here you can see uh, i will just copy up this syntax and i will open up my mm, paint so that will be easy for you to understand so i will take the same example of printing the name and all those things because that will be easy for you to understand okay so here uh, i want to print my the same thing like my name so i will provide the variable i equal to zero and i should be less than equal to three i will choose right now so it will print uh, i think four times and then i will uh, increase the increment let i plus plus and here i will write the code uh, the code will be like ayush i will just write like this and here what you have to do you have to give the wrong information like false con condition you have to provide so uh, here i will do like i greater than equal to 3 so here if condition is false then it will execute the this code okay so value of i so i am i am writing like this v of i and then the condition check okay and uh, then increment okay or you i can write like this print also okay so currently value of i is i equal to zero so zero greater than equal to three yes condition is false okay so if false then it will execute so it is right now zero greater than equal to three that is what false okay so in this case what it will do it will print ayush and the value of i will get increased by one so i will be one right now so here again it will check one is greater than equal to three condition is false so again it will what it will do it will print okay so it will print now condition will increase by one that is now i will become two so i equal to two so here again two is greater than equal to three so again this condition is false so ayush will get printed okay so now i increment by one that is i will become three so now for i equal to three so three greater than equal to three yes condition is uh, like uh, false it will be false okay and i will get printed and increment by one now i equal to four so four is greater than equal to three yeah condition is now true so now you will come out of the loop okay so in this way until loop works. it basically just the opposite of uh, while loop like if condition is false the loop will execute otherwise not so let me just uh, uh, do with this uh, uh, what you can see what you can say like uh, run this loop i will provide the i equal to zero and i will use until loop until condition will be dollar of i is uh, only greater than if i use a greater than equal to 3 so in this case do echo 
Ayush. Okay, and just do it done here. And uh, you have to just increment the value of i also. Okay, now we are good to go. I will just give the appropriate permission to this file. 14 okay dot slash 14 and uh, we got some kind of error here line number 21 syntax error okay okay here i do semicolon let me just check now unexpected end of line let me just check the syntax like i equal to 0 until dollar of i is greater than equal to 3 do echo ayush and then let i plus plus and i have done here i have written done here right do and done okay uh, so here you can see we have not comment out this so let me just comment it and again i will run this script let me just clear the screen and dot slash 14 yeah so here you can see uh, the loop has been executed that is greater than equal to if we, i will do so it will run five times uh, four times i think let me just clear the screen okay the three times i is greater than equal to three okay it will run only three times okay i'm sorry for for here like uh, here here uh, like uh, condition will get true yeah condition will get true here because it is equal to three so in this case it will come out of the loop and um, there will be no further check okay so it will print only three times okay so uh, now what i will do i will let me just try uh, what you can say we can print the table okay so you can print the table of uh, any number like if you want to print the table of five okay so you can do like this uh, you can write the expression here like whatever the expression you write like dollar uh, let me just write for you i will just uh, dollar parenthesis and you have to provide the number that is the uh, any number 5 into and you will do like this dollar i and here just do 0 and here you provide 10 okay and i hope it should run so here you can see uh, no we will start with the 1 okay so let's check so here you can see and here we need to do 11 okay so here in this way you can print the table of any number also you can do your customized changes like uh, you can take input from the user and then passing that value here and then give the result and the terminal okay so i hope you liked it guys and you got to know about the anti loop and i will uh, post all the source codes uh, of this particular video in our github repository you can access from there and i will provide the link also in our description okay so that's all for today's and i will meet you in the next video so thank you for watching bye bye